You have to be some kind of crazy to play tackle football. It's starting to get real. Football in Florida is huge. This is what you worked so hard for all season. Let's go, let's get it. You got it. Hands on your knees. Come on. Hey, hey. Get your butt in this ice. Get in this ice right now. Right there. Quick, 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 quick. Nobody out there with us. We sisters. We all we got out there. So protect each other. We're going to lose together. We're going to win together. We're going to party together. We're going to play together. We're going to do all that together like sisters. All right, we about to do wash the clothes. We drying it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Ace with the West Palm Beach Coyotes. Paul about to run us like Greyhound dogs. Ready? Backwards, here we go. We part of the West Palm Beach Women's Soccer Football League. We D3 National Championship three years in a row. Not to sound cocky, you've been undefeated for like three years. It's really not much that puts fear in our hearts. Coyote Jumping Jacks, y'all ready? Coyotes! Coyotes! Even in this county, many people that are like, there's women's tackle football, what? So the WFA has 50 plus teams, three divisions. The league rules now in the WFA, if you win the championship game, you go to the next division. We went D3 all the way through, won the championship, and we were told, congratulations, you guys are going to D2 now. So now we're in D2. You have an opportunity to do something that the WFA's never seen before. Hold each other accountable. We're playing some better teams this year. Mm -mm. This is D2. This ain't D3. Let's go. The plan is to win the championship again. If I, I, it. It. <laughs> I mean, it has to be the plan. <laughs> go, go, go. That's what we've done every year. Practice was practice. I think my coach trying to kill me today. <laughs> I need to get out there and work out some more, probably link up with some of my teammates and stuff. actual football today and more conditioning, strength, because we honestly need that, especially this year going into D2. Because we won the national championship, we were asked to elevate to the higher division. The teams are going to be more competitive, they're going to be bigger, they're going to be stronger. They do weight room sessions and then we'll start getting stronger and you guys will see it on the field. We really want to be full on with listening and learning. We don't want to hurt our knees. We don't want to hurt our back. We want to be in the right position. So it's not Karate Kid. No. And then drive it up. Nice job, guys. These look really good. I can lift 240. All right, let's I'm finna show y'all. I think we should add a little more weight. Man, Ace could do 25. She's playing with us. I'm Montana. I play a defensive linebacker. That's a leader right there. Last one. That's a leader right there. Ah. Yeah. You need to put something on there for Montana. What are we doing? I definitely, I do have a, a weightlifting background. Well, probably two, I think. Let's go. 20. Let's go. 16. Let's go. 17. 18, two more. 19, kick out, 20! I embody the motivator. I like to push my team. Look, she knows she's trying to drive us little people crazy. Stop. Stop. Nope. But the thing is, no, for real. If I do it, they're going to be compelled to do it too. One time out here pushing us a little harder than we're supposed to be pushing. What is that? 14, 15. That's 20. 15. She get up there bitch pressing all these circle things. She out there showing us up. So now we out there. We like, we cannot let the rookie. Now we all out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these arms definitely about to be arming. Y'all see? <laughs> this is what we call preseason work right here. Okay. Three. There you go. Big ace. There you go. One more. Push back. Push back. Push back. We're gonna be so conditioned if we keep this up. Hey, let's go, Tati. Show them why the rookies get down, man. What about me? She about, you don't count as a rookie, Montana. Like, <laughs> just no. <laughs> See ya! Yeah! 
Hard work on me, hard work on three. One, two, three, hard work! Yeah, me and my son working out today. I'm on my off days, we try to get some um, work in together. We're gonna run a hitch. Get your head around, huh? Ball. Good job, good catch. One, two, this way. Uh, there those. Uh, good job, get up, Phil. My youngest said that uh, he wanna be better this year, so learning how to run and, you know, be a little bit more athletic. So when I do have some free time, I try to get out here with them. Last year was his first year playing, and he really didn't know a lot about football, just knows that me and his brother plays. Ah, good job! <laughs> uh, see, you gotta keep your eyes up. Good catch. What you at? What's your favorite route? Me? Mm. Oh, a dig. A dig? You can run a dig. That's one. All right, let's run a dig. What's a dig? Oh, I forgot what that is. Hold What's a dig? I didn't know the Ball, name, but you forgot. Dig. Cut across. Right, but what? What's special about a dig? <laughs> oh, we love it. We're a house full of football. We're a house full of football all the way down to my daughter. She want to play football. My kids love it. My two boys, uh, they were shocked at first, like, oh, they real tackle football, and then they saw. But one of the most touching is my daughter. She no longer wants to be a cheerleader. <laughs> she want to play football like mommy. I like seeing them practice, so when I play football, I can see, I can see them how they practice. That's a little bit of my motivation. I show up for them just like they show up for me. You know, they're at all my games, cheering me on. They Google me all the time. They watch my film. They, you know, they say good job. And I do the same for them during their games. You know, I'm cheering them on. You know, the mommy sidelines and stuff, but I'm still out there cheering, I'm yelling. You know, it's good bonding for us. I definitely do think, what if this was available to me when I was younger? I hope that one day this is available to kids, you know, during high school or even fresh out of high school. I think they deserve that. All right, we're gonna do some cut drills real quick. Hey! Plant, go! Yeah. Good job, plant, go, yeah! My schedule is insane. I woke up 6.30 this morning. I got off work at 3.30. We're gonna be out here probably by, you know, an hour, hour and a half. We'll go in, get ready for dinner. They got school, so they'll be in bed by eight, and then we'll try it again tomorrow. Luke, go, go! <laughs> It's definitely harder for women NFL players. That's their job. They don't have an outside job. Whereas women's tackle football, we all have our own job and family and not the extra money to pay for a nanny. That's part of what makes it more of a family and more of a community thing. Yeah, I have had many heart to hearts with a couple of the girls on our team about how this has saved their life the sport, this team has saved their life. Football isn't only football for them. Football is making their life better. If I can be a part of that, if I can help their life get better, then for me, that's everything. When I think about the why, I think about the ability to be a part of something that's bigger than myself. I just try to enjoy it now while I can, make the best of it, you know, leave my, my mark on the football world while I can. Being a mom is forever. I'm just trying to make sure that my kids understand that when they get older, you know, you don't have to stop doing stuff that you love just because you an adult now. Okay, one, two, three, coyotes! In the past, we've played football and they haven't really thought about the other stuff that comes along with it. And I think going into a more competitive division, we need to think about that stuff. I got 12 bags of ice for today. Ice baths are super good for recovery. So they need to be thinking about recovery. They need to be thinking about weight room and conditioning outside of just one day a week at practice. And it's not warm out today either. Becca's ideas are horrible. You're not gonna be able to stay in there. The body just goes to fight or flight mode. People get out of here feeling like a million bucks. Cause nobody else thinks to just get in ice cold water, but Becca. Step in, you're gonna get all the way down low. I want the water above your shoulder. I'm gonna yell coyote and get in there and I'm gonna do it. And I just wanna get through this, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yell, scream, do whatever you need to do. There you go. Coyote! Oh, coyote, that's right. Good job. Two, one. Coyote. 
Two minutes, baby. Good job. I'm feeling awesome. It feels like rejuvenated, it rejuvenated me. My, even my thighs feel better. Oh yeah. Bend those oh. knees, hands on the knees, hands on the knees. Good, breathe. That's two minutes, Montana. My body was saying, get out. Oh, yeah. I felt like I was a penguin in Antarctica. My mind was blown at how good my body felt afterwards. You have to have confidence, because you can't go in there without it. I am petrified. <laughs> I got more socks in the car. <laughs> you gotta keep like three, four pair in the car. You got it. Hands on your knees. Come on. Hey, it's okay. No, 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 no. Ride it. Ride it. Ride it. Ride it. <laughs> it's all right. She's gonna go back in. When she jumped out that first time, like she was like, uh uh. Her body was like, I'm not having it. Got an ice bag, whoop you. Hell yeah. Get your butt in this ice. Get in this ice right now. Get your butt in this ice. I'm gonna call you so many names. 30 seconds, do it quick, otherwise you're gonna wanna get out. Get down in there, twin. There you go, hands on your knees, hands on your knees. Breathe, there we go, breathe. Deep breath in, twin, focus on me. In for four, out for seven. That's the kind of strength we have on the team is that she sat there for a second, took some breaths and said, okay. And she got back in there and she held, she stayed in there for two minutes. Two, one. Nice job, twin. Nice job. All right, walk around. You're not gonna warm up with a towel. I just want you to walk around. She retrained a thought, mentally got away from the fact that the water is cold and just thought like, I'm helping myself. This is gonna help my body. That'll transition to the team. Like, you're gonna be able to get it done. Exactly. Let's go, Bam! You're not on time. We're not here to be cute. You definitely should see more people than this, but <laughs> you know, some people have things going on in life or work or whatever the excuses may be. So hopefully the numbers pump up. We only got 16 Saturdays until our first game. That means we gotta just go out there and do what we used to doing, which is win. She's a huge part of getting people on board because there's no better advertisement than other players. Let's go, Jay, you're late. Let's go, on the hop. They voted me in as a captain my first year. Ace is always, from the beginning, she's been that natural leader. You'll see the players kind of gravitate to her. Let's go, Ace. Oh my God. Being a rookie out here, hey. and I did not know that there was a women's league. I got a DM, and I looked at my DMs, and it was Ace, and she was recruiting me for the Coyotes. I went to IG and I loved what I saw. Today, when I was hitting the bags, that felt great. Felt so good, felt so empowering to hit that bag today. I can't wait to do more of it. And I actually can't wait till we put on pads. That day is gonna really stick out for me because as you can see, I've got the physique, I've got the strength. By the time the season starts, the division two teams, y'all better be ready because the Coyotes are coming. I'm about to head into a sports medicine doctor. My lower right back here, it hurts tremendously. And it was literally like after I got out of the car and started walking, it was almost like a limp. We were actually tackling. So you can't even practice right now. You can't get down. You can't no, push nothing. off. No way, right? I'm getting pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. Let me have you stand over there facing me. You're crooked. I am? Yeah, you're actually standing away from the pain. How about when you lean back? It's bothering you. Yeah, it hurts. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right this here. isn't a competition. I would say football is a bit of a release for me. Arms up. Why don't you push towards me? Same. It's just that little, like you know it's there. Yeah. I'm thinking this could be an injury that could take me off the field for the season. You injured your sacroiliac joint. That is where you have pain. I'm gonna work on the muscles. Takes pressure off, huh? Yeah, totally. All right, I'll just stay here for a couple hours, all right? <laughs> and put some therapy on them, get rid of some of the discomfort. Do a little laser, and then I'm gonna do, it's gonna be like a Band-Aid for the injured ligament. Okay. Basically, we just warmed you up for the event of standing. <laughs> a little better. Yeah, feel better standing. Yeah. It's healing, it's part of the process. So do you think I 
could be better by... Ligament takes anywhere from four to six weeks to heal. But you could be out of pain in the next couple days. Okay. I do have a question for you. Yeah. So I'm just kind of interested in the crossover between female athletes and male athletes, given that they have access and we don't. So an injury like that, we'd be treating you twice a day, every day. Yeah. We don't have a treatment facility. We don't have recovery processes. So that's, there's so many, there's so many little factors, but I don't want you to ever get down about that. That, that that's why I said that was easy. That's easy. Okay. Sacred leg actually, that's easy. It's just understanding what it is and why you keep aggravating it. Yeah. So if you can play smart, you'll be fine. Okay. Thanks, that answer your question? Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Great, great to meet you. We still have jobs. We still have careers. We've got to pay to play this sport. I wish that we could focus on football like our male counterparts in pro sports. I don't think that's an even playing field. Me and Twin went and checked out Dynamic Fitness. I first discovered it, my sister. She was like, bro, you gotta come out and see us play. I'm like, play what? She was like, I'm playing tackle football. So that stiff one got to be for real. <laughs> Pushing each other since high school. <laughs> like, we didn't even, we played on uh, different basketball teams, so we've been pushing each other for a long time. The team calls her twin, because she's my twin sister. Um, some people call her Uno because I'm ace. Good job, <laughs> keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Since eighth grade? I ain't, ain't counting years. Yes, I think when she <laughs> came up talking to me and my little brother. <laughs> like, oh, we, we gonna beat y'all. Me and my little brother, we whooped them. We've been friends ever since. Oh, nah, one more. <laughs> Ten. Good. No. Oh yeah, you didn't get on the yeah, rope yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't on. remember her Come doing inside. the rope and the, and the uh, thing while so I take it. Hey, what you gonna do? <laughs> and we just been stuck like glue since then. Yeah. Right there. Quick, 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 quick. Don't let it pull you. Come on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Gonna get your legs to rest a little bit. Even when it came to basketball, we playing with the boys. They, we going up for layups. They slapping our shit across the gym like it, it's, it's like that. And we competitive. There. Any way you want it, come get it. The women's tackle wasn't available to us for a long time. All we had was to play with our brothers and play with guys that y'all see in the NFL. Some of those is our classmates that we played backyard football and stuff with yeah. at that time because we didn't have this opportunity like we do now. We're running over everybody. When you're looking at the game, it shouldn't matter what we are. You're watching the sport football and you're watching it being played properly. It's intense, it's active. We come up out them uniforms, all of that don't even matter. No matter what we is, we playing ball. Whatever them girls want to do, I'm putting my money on these two. Y'all keep their conditioning and their strength training up, y'all gonna do it. You gonna do it big, all right? When you add the working out and then the nutrition, that's a big factor. And then he had a horrible idea too. You are what you eat. You gotta put a scoop of peanut butter, a banana. I'm allergic to bananas. And a raw egg. A raw egg? <laughs> Absolutely not. You ain't gonna taste it. We, no, no, we not. You ain't gonna taste it. Egg. One of my trainers told us that this is protein, okay? So he told us to crack it and just eat it. <laughs> Big Ace did not keep the egg down. <laughs> I'm gonna tell DeAndre he can keep the uncooked egg eating to himself. Uh, 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 never again. Never enough. I'm never doing it again. There go Juju. We need to make Juju do it, but we're not gonna tell her that I throwed up. We're gonna tell her that I did it like a champ. The first practice in pads is the first day you become a football player. Go, 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 go. Getting real today, baby. I've been training for a year now for the moment when we put the helmet on and we put the pads on, and I think it's about to get real fun. I'm gonna show you ain't the best in the nation. You get grown like everybody else, bring it. First day of pads, 
feel the difference. Definitely weight feel down. the difference. Feel weighted down, yeah. but I feel strong. We don't feel nothing. We want to play like the best team. That's what we want. Now we're known as this, we need to keep it up. We can't, we can't go the other way. I mean, we, we started on top. That's a, hard, that's a hard way to go. Some people start at the bottom and work their way up. We started on top, and now we have to maintain that. Kilo, you finna smash it, Kilo. Go, 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 go. I'm just looking forward to going hard on the football field this season and winning another championship with the Coyotes. If they want a piece of us, we want a piece of them. We ain't scared of none of them. We want to play the best of the best. We want to compete with the best of the best. That's, that's what the Coyotes about. We want to play raw. Well, Luca made it to the end of the video. If you like this content, make sure you hit subscribe right there or check out some of the other videos we got going on. And if you like how your boy looks right now, make sure you check out our shop. <laughs>